Welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Remember me saying the first of the year how we needed to be focused and how fast the year was going to go, things were going to go like a whirlwind? Well, we're rolling on that whirlwind. No sooner than some of you could read HUD's letter from the January the 28th tip, which was last week, regarding the request of the secretary to the FTC on the inspection of assistance animals and those documents that you get online to have assistance animals, HUD's come out with something new on reasonable accommodation. HUD announced on last Tuesday the publication of guidance and clarification on how housing providers can comply with fair, the Fair Housing Act when processing a resident's request to have an animal as a reasonable accommodation. It is the HUD notice FHEO 2020-01. It is intended to help housing providers in the process of adhering to a reasonable accommodation of assistance animals. It offers a step-by-step -step set of best practices to help housing providers determine and understand the need for a service animal or an assistance animal. There are two sections to the notice. The first, assessing a person's request to have an animal as a reasonable accommodation under the Fair Housing Act. And the second is guidance on documentation and individual need for assistance animals in housing. This notice explains uh, observable and non-observable disabilities, what a disability may include, and it contains things like disability determination, documentation from the internet on how to handle certain forms. It also includes confirmation of the disability and the related need, the definition of a common household animal versus the definition of a unique animal. It also refers to the refusal of a reasonable accommodation and the interactive process, the process you have to go through when you refuse a reasonable accommodation. The guidance does not address how HUD will process complaints against the housing providers, however. But remember, all of this comes under the Fair Housing Act. So therefore, you're under that guidance. I wish I could go into detail about the notice, but to keep our time as promised to you, our viewers, I encourage you to read the notice. We posted it on our website for your convenience, and we ran a blog on it last week. Look forward to seeing you next week for another Tuesday Tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.